Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all doing very well. In today's video, we're gonna be making the very first passes with the Limitless V2 using the exact setup that we went through in the last video. We saw what the speed prediction is. Let's see how close we can get to that predicted speed. Let's head out and make some passes. We got the batteries plugged in, we got the radio on, everything seems to be bound up nice and tight. I'm gonna get the race app here up and running. This is gonna track the speed that we actually achieve with this car. I wanna make sure that it's tracking well. Often enough, I end up making a pass and I forget about this app just to confirm that it's actually tracking the vehicle and then when I do that I make a good pass and then I don't know how fast I went and I'm sure this happens to others it's super annoying so another thing that I found super annoying and I don't know why I didn't change it every single time except now I'm actually having the battery leads coming out the rear side of the battery tray this is not ideal there's a lot more room in the center but some reason I'm electing to continue with this and leaving those battery leads there at the rear making it a little more challenging to get the cover on Nonetheless, we figure it out, we get the body on, we take a look in one direction just to make sure there's no cars coming, and then we can send out the Arma Limitless V2. Now the first thing I'm going to be doing is checking my trims, checking all the settings, and right away I'm realizing by making this turn that it's turning way, way, way too aggressively for any type of speedrun vehicle. So that what I did there in that break is set the EPAs down a lot quite significantly so I don't nearly have that much turning radius. If I am able to turn in about three quarter of the road width here, that is a good setting. So I'm gonna get the car out there and as I'm doing that, I am adjusting trim. You did hear a couple clicks of trim being adjusted and I'm gonna make a slower pass just to make sure that everything is okay. Unfortunately, not breaking any records with that pass, but everything does seem straight and true. I'm pretty happy with the trims and the endpoint adjustments, although I don't like how little of endpoint adjustment I actually have there. It's somewhere around 30 to 40 percent. I can't remember exactly what that value was. I'm pretty comfortable with this motor. I'm gonna send it out for another pass. I know that we're not gonna be over temp in these first couple test passes. So let's hear, send it for pass number two. That felt pretty good, although again, probably not breaking any records, but it's a good start. Things are tracking very well, very straight and true. I'm really happy with things so far. Let's see what we got here on the speed app. 180. After letting the motor cool off for quite some time there, I now am gonna send it back out for another pass. One of the things that I wanna talk about in the endpoint adjustment comment that I made earlier is that I wish I had more resolution. Instead of having the endpoint adjustment at 30 to 40%, have it somewhere closer to 100% so I can maximize the resolution. However, I'm mechanically limited on the servo with only having access to one position. Pass felt good, felt like I did make an improvement there in speed, so we're gonna get this car back in so that we can see exactly what speed we ended up achieving in that pass. Slowly gonna make progress and push the car a little bit further, and all I need to do to do this and make it happen is to give myself more room. More room is always king when it comes to speed passes. Checking it here, we are reading 190 kilometers an hour for this pass. Very good, I'm gonna let the car cool off again and send it out for another pass. This is what, like pass number four, I do believe? So pass number four is coming right up. We're gonna again try to push it a little bit faster every time than what we've achieved in the previous run. Now I know I'm battling voltage drop during this. I don't have fresh batteries every time, but that's okay. We don't need to hit maximum peak speed today. We're probably not gonna do it since we already chewed up that top nice fresh voltage.
hitting the top of that sewer there obviously not ideal we don't want anything to kind of throw the balance of the car off and allow it to fly away on us or end up upside down in some other manner However, this pass did seem fairly good, track straight, and I think the top speed on this pass was gonna be higher based off of how everything felt. So we're gonna bring the car back in, get it stopped, and see what kind of speed we're gonna get on this pass here. Get the meter out, read the speed, and it shows us 195 kilometers an hour. So close to that 200 mark. I really wanna be able to break the 200 mark here. We're gonna give it another pass and we're gonna send it out after letting it cool for quite some time to bring that temperature down to about the 42 to 45 degrees Celsius mark. And I know that after a pass, I'm gonna be somewhere around the 65 degrees Celsius mark right now. Pass felt really good. Let's return the car and read this speed here. 202 kilometers an hour we just achieved. So we just broke the 200 kilometer an hour mark. I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna take a screenshot here, share it right here. 202, that's where we're at right now. Well, there you have it guys. I think there's a little bit more speed we can get out of this gearing before moving on. So we're gonna do exactly that. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.